like we gonna set the streets on fire <laughs> Hi mga higala, I'm with the very first ever Filipino Formula One racer and apparently uh, the country's most eligible bachelor, Mr. Marlon Stocking. Hi Marlon, this is Nikki TV. Say hi to everyone watching you right now. Hi everyone, nice to meet you all. Uh, yeah, great to be here. <laughs> so he's here in Cagayan. Is this your first time here in Cagayan? Yeah, it's actually my first time in CDO. I've been to Mindanao a couple times, but mainly in the Gensan area. So in Cagayan, it's really the first ever. Do you have plans to go um, walk around, check it out? Yeah, I mean, for today, obviously, I have only like tonight and I leave tomorrow morning. But I'm hoping after today's event, I get to see some nightlife, maybe have a couple drinks with some friends I know around the area and just get get to experience it everybody knows you as a race car driver how did you start what inspired you to race I started racing because of my father um, he got into it and he did races in Carmona in Cavite in the Philippines obviously and it was like a hobby for him and one day I wanted to go watch and then that day he sat me in a go-kart and the rest is history. It's the great. rest is history. What, what kind of discipline or regimen do you have as a racer? I think it's just good work ethic, you know. I think with anything in life, whether it's racing, work, business, school, if you just have like a proper routine and you work hard at it, you work on your talents that you have, then, you know, you get success from that. If you weren't a race car driver, what do you think you'd be? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I wouldn't know. I mean, if I wasn't behind the wheel, I'd most probably be doing something that still gets me involved in motorsport. You know, whether it's on the track or outside of it or behind the scenes, uh, working with the team, you know, as a driver or somehow involved, I think motorsport will always be a big part of my life of what you're going to be doing so yeah. speaking of being on the track you know uh, everybody knows that when you're driving it's high speed how do you handle yourself when you're just driving in a regular on a regular road with the traffic and all i think yeah i'm, I'm normal you know i'm not like the stereotype that likes to go really quick or <laughs> road rage no none of no that road rage. because it all got taken out now on the racetrack you know so all my adrenaline all the um, urge to go quick I've done I've been doing that my whole life I've been spoiled with it so actually when it's on public roads I'd rather be safer yeah. and just get from point A to point B as everyone should you know because in the end it's if you do something bad or if you break the law or you, you're speeding you're not only risking your life but other people's lives also. that's right I, I, I really hope that and I wish that everybody else would do and have the same mindset with you so what do you do on your free time Free time, um, I like to still keep active, you know, keep fit. Uh, if I'm not racing, I'm racing against the clock anyway in like triathlons. Uh, I like to do obviously some work behind the scenes that no one really gets to see about motorsport. You know, there's a lot more to doing than just being in a car. Uh, so that takes up my time too. But normally I like to have hobbies that involve sports. Good. So you've you've brought so much pride to us Filipinos. What's next for you? I'm hoping that I still will continue to bring pride. Um, obviously, continue racing yeah. with a factory seat. By that I mean I have a tie-up with a manufacturer and um, continue to race. Yeah, and ho hopefully play more times the Lupang Hinirang on the podium every time I win. So. That's so good to know. So this kind of dream, Marlon, is it also possible for the regular young Pinoy? Yeah, definitely. I think hopefully with uh, me, you know, getting as far as I did, that's shown that the, the blueprint to, to any Filipino to get into motorsport. There's a parang stereotype na it's mahal or it's elitist, but it's not, you know, I mean anyone can go to an arcade and even play a racing game and if you can do well at that there's a chance to progress from there yeah, you know there are not, different right? means yeah. to, to reach that goal without needing money and just showcasing your talent so yeah. and i think filipinos have the talent for it you know right. we're the right size also i'm not so tall yeah. myself 
I know basketball is one of our first loves, but motorsport is also something we can do really well. See, you can do it, Pinoy's. And speaking of being able to do it, let's break a, a myth. No, um, people say that one of the qualifications to become uh, a race car driver or in uh, related sports, you have to be good looking. Because what we see is that most of the race car drivers look like Tom Cruise. Is it true? No, of course not. No, uh, it's nothing to do with your looks. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, it's really good to have um, talked to you. Marlon, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Do you have any inspiring messages for the young Pinoys out there, um, the ones who have aspirations also and dreams to become like you? Well, I mean, it's always been the same for me as whether it's, you know, in school, you're following your dreams, always believe in yourself, always work hard because, you know, at the end of the day, if you have talent but you don't work on it, the person who works harder than you will always beat you so i think it's just yeah having a strong mindset good belief in yourself and anything is possible thank you marlon that was very very inspiring thanks everyone